Hi friends, welcome to my Learning Points YouTube channel. Hope you are doing well. Today I will show you one database related tricks. Generally, while we are working with database, we are using MySQL user interface that is localhost phpMyAdmin. So to import database, we use this import button. But you can see their default maximum size is near about 2 MB. So if you want to import a 100 MB MySQL file, then using this import button will not work. Today I will show you how to import large SQL file using MySQL command line. I will show you two way to import large SQL file in our MySQL database. I will import this two-way SQL file in two different way using MySQL command line. First of all, I need one database to import a file. So I am creating one database like SQL import. After creating the database, we are entered into MySQL import and I am going to import one SQL file. So this is my terminal. Using this terminal, we will import the MySQL file. We have created our database name SQL import. We have already created a database SQL import, so we can upload any SQL file within this database. Now I am going to import a SQL file using terminal. Already I have taken two SQL files and I am going to import this file. So I am opening my terminal. So this is my terminal command. So I already, I have already taken two SQL files and I am going to import SQL import 2.SQL in our SQL import database. So the comment will be mysql minus u root, root is my username and minus p will ask for password and I need to mention the database where I will going to import. So my database name is SQL import. And after that, we need to write the file which I want to import. So my file name is SQL import 2 dot SQL. So I am providing my password and after that we can see it will take a very few times after that we will see our sql file will be imported we can check also here uh, here is my database sql import and i am refreshing this database i am i can see here some tables are already imported but still have left because it is a large file and there are already 43 tables imported and it will take some more time to import all the related tables. So you can see SQL import is done and we can refresh my SQL import table and we can see all the 43 tables are imported and there are, if there is record we can see some data are already imported means all data and database are imported using MySQL. Now I am going to import another method of SQL import. So this method, first we have to log in in MySQL minus u root minus p. Using this command, I am entering into MySQL command line. Now I am creating a database where I will import our SQL files. So to import database is create database SQL import SQL import 2. So database created we need to use SQL import 2 database import 2 So now if you want to check the 
database table status we can check show table there are no table inside it so now i'm going to now i am going to import one sql file to import we need to write a simple source and after that we need to provide the perfect path so in my sql file location so in my system my sql location is home administrator after that downloads and the name of the file is you can see sql import dot sql sql import dot sql so if you run this then the sql will be import and here you can see the progress also means whatever is running if you get any error they and this will show you the error also now you can see your sql file is successfully imported now you can check the table status so tables you can see there are 43 tables you know in your database hope you understand the two way to import a skill file in your mysql database using the common line if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel don't forget to comment on comment section if you have any queries i will try to explain your queries in our upcoming videos